Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve a word problem. The problem given is Jack donated one tenth of his income to charity. What percentage of his income did he donate to charity? Well, what we are given is Jack donated one tenth of his income to charity. Now, we don't know how much income he made, but what we know is he gave one tenth of his income to charity. So let's make a blog that represents his income. Okay, let me draw a block. I'm making a big one and you'll know why I made a big one later on. But for now, just go with the flow. So this is the block of money that is the income that Jack makes. Okay, so Jack has this block of income and what we know is a tenth of his income is how much he gave to charity. So if his income is divided into 10 equal parts, then one out of those 10 parts is how much he gave to charity, right? Because that would be the fraction one tenth. So let's do that. Let's divide his income into 10 equal parts. So part number one, part number two, part number three, four, and five, then six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so let's see. One part out of ten parts is how much you gave to charity. So the blue part is how much you gave to charity, and the rest, nine parts out of the ten parts, he kept for himself. Okay, so this is how much he gave to charity. And we know that this is equal to the fraction 1 upon 10. Now, let's just suppose that his income was $1,000, okay? Let's just suppose. We don't, it really doesn't matter how much he made. We just suppose for now that his income was equal to $1,000. Then if his income was $1,000, then how much did he give to charity? So if his income was $1,000, then each of these parts, each of these 10 parts would be equal to $100, right? When 1000 is divided by 10, 10 equal parts, then one part or each part is equal to $100. So then the amount that he gave to charity would be equal to $100. And the amount that he kept for himself would be $900, right? So, but anyway, forget about that. What we have is we have one tenth. That's the fraction of his income that he gave to charity. Well, it would be good enough to divide this block of income into 10 parts if we were only concerned with fractions. But what we have here is we have to find out the percentage of his income that he gave to charity. Now, when we say percentage, what we mean is we want to find out in terms of 100. What this means that if his income is divided into 100 parts, then how many of those 100 parts did he give to charity? Well, so far what we've done is we've divided this entire block of income into 10 parts. Now, how about we divide, we take the same block of income and we divide it into 100 parts. So let's take this block and divide it into 100 parts. So what I do is I make 10 lines across and that would divide the entire block into 100 parts, right? So let's do that. Okay, so we have 50 parts at the top. Let's cut the bottom as well into 50 parts and that would make a total of 100 parts. Okay, so this last line and we will have 100 equal parts. Alright, so what we have now is 100 equal parts into which the income has been divided. Now, the amount that he gave to charity still remains the same. It's, it's still this blue block over here. But what we see now is the blue block has also been divided into smaller parts. And how many smaller parts are there? Let's see. There is one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Well, there are 100 small little parts in the entire income block. And out of those 100 little parts, these 10 parts is how much he gave to charity. Now, each of these smaller units is equal to how much or how many dollars? Well, if this entire thing which is made up of 100 parts is equal to $1,000, then each of these little blocks must be equal to $1,000 divided by 100 parts, right? And if you cancel out the zeros, that will give you $10. So, each of these little parts is equal to 
ten dollars has a value of ten dollars and we know that there are ten of these smaller little units so ten times ten dollars is equal to one hundred dollars so what we see is the amount that we gave to charity is still equal to one hundred dollars regardless of whether we divide the income into ten parts or one hundred parts but if we divide the entire income into one hundred parts then what fraction of it represents the amount that he gave to charity well we saw that there are ten smaller units that he gave to charity right so if he gave 10 out of 100 units to charity then the new fraction is equal to 10 upon 100 now 10 upon 100 is the equivalent of 1 upon 10 the fraction 1 upon 10 that's been given to us but what we know from here is if we have a fraction that has 100 in its denominator then that's equal to 10 percent right the numerator times percentage when you have the denominator as 100 so the percentage of his income that he donated to charity is equal to 10 percent now if you want to find out what percentage of his income he donated to charity without having to draw this big block of income then what you would do is let's do that what you would do is well you know that he gave one tenth of his income to charity and from what we learned in the lesson on fractions we know that this means that if his income is divided into 10 equal parts then one out of those 10 parts is how much he gave to charity so this is how much he gave to charity and the rest is how much he kept for himself so this is all what he kept for himself right now let's come back to charity so this is charity right this is the fraction of the income that represents the charity and the fraction is 1 upon 10. Now in the previous slide what we did was we converted this to its equivalent so the denominator was equal to 100 right and how do you get the denominator as 100 you simply multiply it by 10 and you also multiply the numerator by 10 to get 10 here and 10 upon 100 we know is equal to 10%. So the percentage of his income that he gave to charity is equal to 10%. That's method number one. Another method would be to take the fraction 1 10 that's given to you, this fraction 1 10, and multiply it by 100% to convert this number to percentage. And what you do then is you simplify this statement, cancel out the zeros, and what you are left with is you are left with this number 10 over here and that's equal to 10 percent so it's still the same answer 10 percent 10 percent here 10 percent here and 10 percent in the previous slide as well so no matter what method you choose you still get to the same answer that's equal to 10 percent well that's all i'm going to talk about in this lesson i hope you've got what i've taught and i hope you'll go back and do some practice exercises because practice makes perfect so as usual visit www.homecampus.com.sg for some practice problems and to see how good you're getting at math this is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.